Hello everyone, welcome back again for OFG Animation Studio YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we are going to make a walk cycle animation. It is very easy and we will not use any plugin, we just need to use Puppet Pin tool. In 10 minutes, we will create a walk cycle, which is very great. Before start the tutorial, please subscribe the channel and like the video because we are posting many tutorials on our channel. And if you hit the notification bell, you will be noticed with the new tutorials. All right, let's get started. Here we are in After Effects. I have already imported the character file. Let's see the layers. Here, just I have head layer, arm, and it is just one piece. This leg is also one piece, and the body. All right, let's start with the change the anchor point. So I come to the anchor point for the head and put it here because we will rotate from this angle very good and come to the arm let's make it solo and drag this pen behind to anchor point here again come to the leg make it solo and drag the anchor point here at the top of the leg good excellent the last one will be the body so it will be at the bottom of the body layer which is here Let's see the color of the body. All right, good. Close the solo. Now we are ready for the animation. The second thing we need to do, putting pin tool for the leg and arm. All right, double click for the arm. It will be open in layer panel. So choose puppet pin tool, put a pin here, here, and the last one at the hand. Good, change this one legacy. Good. Now come to the leg and double click again with puppet pin tool put a pin here the other one here and the last one should be here good four pin for the leg change it legacy as we did for the arm all right the third one we need to do a parent with the body so head should be parented with body and arm should be parented with body but we will not parent the leg with the body because we will make an animation, a position movement for the body. We will see later on. All right, I just need to have one second. So press N for the preview area. And first of all, come to the view and open the rulers, show rulers. And put one rule here. The other one should be here. And for the arm because we don't want to exceed this uh, position for the arm and here the last one excellent now uh, come to the view and lock the rulers where is it here lock guides perfect now the fourth one will be the animation part come to the leg and press u for c keyframes as we see there are four pins that we have added so i need to have the rotation posi position and rotation by holding shift i open the position and rotation parameter and create a keyframe good now i need to change the rotation of the leg the minus 10 should be good now this uh, position parameters should be same for the contact pose so i choose all of all of the keyframes Control c Control v now come to the passing pose which should be in 15 keyframe so change the rotation as plus 10 or we can increase it for 12 excellent in addition copy this keyframes and paste them here as well excellent now we have this animation come here and choose this one make it change the movement change the position this one as well and the last one for the tiptoe you can increase you can change however you want that's a good position i think let's see good now come to the this position and change this puppet here because it will be here for for this time and copy this keyframe and pass it here So let's see and copy those 
contact pose, middle poses, keyframes, and right click keyframe assistant is ease for smooth animation. And for loop animation, we need to copy those keyframes, Control C, Control V, because we will change the other leg timing. All right, come to the arm. When the leg is moving forward, the arm should be should move backward. So come to the and open keyframes for puppet pin. And by holding shift, press R on the keyboard and create a keyframe as well. So choose this puppet pin too and make it here. Good. And as we said, we need to change the rotation. So let's make it 50. Good. And those keyframes should be here as well. Good. For the 15 keyframe, it should move forward. So change the rotation as minus 15. And copy these keyframes, paste it here, paste them here. So when we see it, that's good. And select all of the keyframes. Right click keyframe assistant is this. Key is F9. Excellent, good. Now copy those keyframes Control C and Control V. We need to have other leg and other arm. So come to the leg layer, edit, duplicate, and press U on the keyboard. Come to the 15 keyframes, 15 keyframe, and drag the bar here. And, and drag this bar at the beginning of the timeline. So as you see, we have other leg. Excellent. Perfect. Now we will do for the other arm. So Control D for the arm. Press U on the keyboard. And we will do the same thing for the bar. Good. When we watch the animation, as you see, the hands and the legs are ready. Very good. Now we need to put this uh, arm under the body. So it will be in the backyard. Excellent. The last one we need to do moving head and body. So come to the body, press P on the keyboard, create a keyframe, come to the here again, 15 keyframe, Control C, Control V, and Control C, Control V. So in the middle between those keyframes, we can we can move the position, we can, we can move the body at the bottom a little bit. Good. Choose this keyframe and move in the timeline a little bit. And in this area, in this area should be this keyframe as well. So choose those keyframes. Keyframe assistant is easy. Good. And copy these keyframes. Control C, Control V here. So the body is moving, but I think we need to decrease the movement. Let's see how about that. That's better. Good. Uh, come to the head and press R on the keyboard to create a keyframe. Copy this keyframe and paste it. And here change the position like 4. Let's see. Good. And copy these keyframes. Paste them here. Choose all of the keyframes and right click keyframe assistant easy for smooth movement of head. Excellent. Really good. We have did a really great job. If you want, you can see some uh, unwanted edges here. So we can fix it something like uh, increase the body shape. So come to the body, press S on the keyboard and break the chain. Increase the body size. Four vertically. Increase the body size. Like that. So when we watch it, that's better. In addition, we can move the legs. So choose all of the legs, press U on the keyboard. Choose all of them. Choose all of the keyframes. And move forward by pressing right arrow. Let's see. Yes, that's better. Excellent. That was the end of the, this tutorial guys. We have did a walk cycle animation inside of After Effects and we didn't use any plugin like Duik Rubber Horse etc.
If you find this tutorial helpful, please like the video because it helps us a lot on the YouTube algorithm. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask on the comment section below. I will reply your questions as soon as possible. We have many tutorials, many character animation tutorials on our YouTube channel. Please check them out on our channel. I will see you later for next tutorial.